Hey guys, I'm Dr. Tanya Jain and I've very recently begun as a first year PG resident in radiology. So coming straight to the point, uh, INICT is day after tomorrow and this is a very short video about a few last minute tips that you should keep in mind before giving this exam. Although sub bolte hain ki har exam se pehle achhe se so ke jana hai, subah breakfast achha karna hai and you have to be calm. But I just want to reiterate the fact that for this particular paper that is INICT, these things become really, really important because INICT genuinely, it tests your common sense, your presence of mind. Uh, so not just things that you have learned, uh, you know, long before or the concepts you've built before, but also uh, what is your state of mind while giving the paper. So there will be topics, there will be questions, you know, even types of questions that you have never seen before in your preparation. So don't be scared. These questions will be solvable if you just apply your mind. And so it's very, very important that you're well rested. Out of all my attempts for PG exams, uh, the last INICT that uh, November 21 that I had given was after the NEET PG, you know, uh, was done, scores were announced. I was expecting a good result in the counseling. So I was very, very relaxed and that really paid off. So just give it with an attitude that, uh, you know, it isn't like an exam you're giving at home. It's just a bonus exam. Even if you don't get it, uh, you will still have need PG as your backup. So this will just relax you a little and you won't be so stressed and so nervous. However, you have to give it with full gusto, but be relaxed. It's just an exam and this will definitely help you when you're giving INICT. Another very basic but extremely important thing is to read the general instructions before you start your exam. I know it seems like everything will be but you should never take a chance. Uh, always do this before starting your exam and two things definitely you can't miss out when you're reading your general instructions. One is the marking scheme that is up to it was plus one for a correct one and minus one by three for an incorrect one. Uh, so definitely verify that and the second thing is whether uh, there is any any partial marking for multi-correct questions. If you're not familiar with this, the previous PGI papers used to have uh, multi-correct uh, questions in which you should get, you would get partial marking only. But the previous three INICTs have only had single response type questions, means there is only one option that is correct. So please verify before you start your exam that it's still the same and you're well aware when you have entered the exam marking scheme kaise chalegi. Also, every question on the top right or top left corner, there would be a marking scheme uh, for that particular question as well. So it's a good idea to, you know, keep on having a look at the timer as well as the marking scheme. Now, coming to how many questions to attempt, uh, INICT, I always feel is like a go big or go home exam. So you either have to get a very, very good rank to get any admission possible in one of the central institutes because the seats are so so less uh, or uh, otherwise you can you know just an average rank won't be uh, very beneficial for you so uh, at least uh, 195 questions uh, you should definitely attempt because uske, uh, you know say come you are sort of out of the game However, 190 bhi log karte hain, but then your, you know, number of corrects to incorrects has to be very, very high if you're only attempting 190. 190 se kam to karne hi nahi hai, sawal hi nahi hota hai. Uh, you can't think that, you know, you're going to attempt 180 questions and all of them are going to be right. There is going to be uh, a huge, uh, you know, difference in the number of questions attempted and the ones that are correct. And there are also a lot of controversial questions. So you have to have to attempt as many as possible. But the 195 is a lot if you, uh, you know, personally feel that you can do it and uh, you are comfortable with that. But it is not going to As many questions as possible will give you a better chance at getting a good rank in this exam. Another very important factor to keep in mind is the time duration. It's a little different from NEET PG and since we are so accustomed to practicing more GTs for NEET PG purpose, uh, we have to make sure that we are uh, tweaking it a little bit for INICT because uh, NEET PG gives you 200 questions to be answered in three and a half hours whereas INICT only gives you three hours for the same number of questions. And these questions may actually be more complicated than NEET PG, right? The exam difficulty is a little 
little bit more than neat pg so you have to go back and forth in a lot of questions you have to apply a lot of elimination uh, in nict so please keep your speed very very good from the get go uh, and you know you don't start out slow and then it becomes messy in the end and you have a lot of difficult questions to attempt so aise mat karna shuru se keep your speed uh, good and maintain it throughout the paper so that you know your focus your attention is also uh, you know maintained throughout the paper aise nahi shuru mein bahut slow kara fir uske baad you are picking up speed it will give you a lot of issues uh, towards the end of the paper uh, now 35 to 40 questions in 30 minutes is a good speed to keep uh, preferably towards the 40 question mark uh, because uh, agar aap 40 questions kar loge in 30 minutes mein then in the last you might have little time to see the questions you have left however 35 to 40 bhi kar loge to bhi it is doable बट इफ यू आर गोइंग मोर टूवर्ड्स अ थर्टी फाइव मार्क इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि आप सारे क्वेश्चन एक ही बारी में कर लो डोंट कीप मैनी फॉर रिव्यू एंड दिस इज एस्पेशली इंपॉर्टेंट इन आई एन आई सी टी कि आप रिव्यू पे क्वेश्चन ज्यादा नहीं डालें बिकॉज आई एन आई सी टी डज नॉट कंसिडर दैम इन इट्स यू नो इन इट्स फाइनल इवेल्युएशन दोज क्वेश्चन विल बी ट्रीटेड एज नॉट आंसर्ड सो इवन इफ यू मेड अ गुड कैलकुलेटेड गेस एंड यू नॉट अ हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर इट्स ओके गो हेड एंड मार्क इट रादर देन मेकिंग इट फॉर review because last may time come hai vaise bhi is exam mein it will be difficult for you to review all the questions you are having slight doubts in and wo questions fir consider hi nahi honge uh, you know towards your final marking scheme However, अगर आपको थोड़े से क्वेश्चन रिव्यू पे रखने हैं यू कैन डू वन थिंग दैट आई डिड इन माई लास्ट एन आई सी टी दैट जस्ट राइट दैम डाउन ऑन द रफ शीट दैट दे प्रोवाइड ड्यूरिंग द एग्जाम सो आई हैड ओनली यू नो रिटर्न डाउन थ्री टू फोर क्वेश्चन दैट आई वॉन्टेड टू सी हाउ एवर आई हैड ऑलरेडी मार्क देर आंसर एंड सेव्ड इट कि अगर मेरे पास लास्ट में बिल्कुल भी टाइम नहीं मिला तो जो भी मेरा फर्स्ट रिस्पॉन्स मैंने मार्क किया था वो इवेल्युएट हो जाए and you know so i had i had done that and it worked out well so uh, please don't keep more than 3 to 4 questions for review and preferably only on your sheet of paper and just look at it at the end and uh, you know don't take that risk of those four questions uh, not being considered for evaluation lastly uh, i want to wish you all the very best for this exam uh, just go for it it's the last day you have to sprint and memorize as much as possible and you've done your basic preparation for this uh, for this entire year and i'm sure you're going to do very very well and uh, all the very best and see you after the exam bye bye